Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of Checkers the Khajiit Ghost, The Elder Scrolls Online, elsewhere this time with episode 18, and I will turn it over now to Checkers the Khajiit. Okay, so we are here outside of Rimin, we have to go to Shadow Dance Ruins, so we go... I think maybe we go this way. This is not where we met Vestari. Don't think. It's something different, but memory is not so good. Maybe here is way down. Shadow Dance Ruins. Well, can look to see. Whoa. Okay. Switch back and back. But it's not this place. No. Whoa. Okay. You made a choice. Now you must die with it. Foolish creatures. Okay. You're lucky I did not turn Jarboa against you. Okay. There is Kamal. Where is this place? Oh, whatever. Next Dune Ripper. Eager to shove off its mortal scales. Torch bag? bunch of some kind of boards, vultures or something. This way or this way? Shadow Dance Ruins. Oh, we are close to something. Whoa. Well, okay, we drop down here. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't make bad choices, kitties. Don't do this. Have no desire to... Oh, you know? And Shadow of Dragon. Okay, dear, you should probably run. Kamira's waiting for you inside. If the dragon circling overhead spots us, I'll try to drive it off. Okay. Samarak will assist. This yes, one will I'm steal. Sure your fists will make all the difference. Okay, we go here. Shadow Dance Ruins. If there is more to this ancient temple, I do not see a way to access it. Talk to Kamira, okay. Queen, Kamira? This is the right place. I can sense it. But nothing in this chamber looks like it can make the moons move or open a path to Joan or Jode. What are we missing, Five Claw? Cadwell said your pendant was the key. And the Riddlethar knows I have tried everything I can think of. I held it out, I presented it forcefully, I even shook it vigorously, but nothing happened. Ah, I do not know what else to do. Did you... Um, tell it nice things? You said your mother would sometimes hold it and tell you stories, maybe something she said. 
My memories and the Kunzari stories, everything jumbles together. Ugh, too much research has crowded my mind. Wait, maybe... I remember one thing Mother used to say. Maybe if I repeat her words while I hold the pendant. Well, it cannot hurt to try. When Anequina's blood calls, the Shadow Dance begins. By the moons, you open the path. You go ahead. Zamorak and I will deal with the dragon outside. Somehow. Moons, watch over you. Come, Five Claw. Let us see where this leads. Okay, we go. Porto to Shadow Dance Temple. Whoa. Beautiful. Why was this hidden for so long? Well, sometimes people hide things for good reasons, my queen. We go. This place has guardians, it seems. But they could not stop the betrayer. There is something. Moon Sentinel Adept. Why you attack us? Turns out they cannot stop us either. Into the temple. What is this? The betrayer sent that relic. See what you can make of it, Five Claw. Oh. What did we do? Mira, are you the okay? Spirits awake. The temple recognized me. I... I am becoming attuned. Are you okay? That relic... It is connected to the lunar lattice. When you touched it, something spoke to me. I am becoming... attuned. Help me find the remaining Lattice Relics and complete my attunement. It is the only way to stop the Betrayer and the Dragons. What do you mean, attuned? The Moon Priests that serve this temple. They were attuned to the Lattice and the Hidden Paths. They could move the moons and dance through the shadows. The Betrayer was attuned in the ancient past. I think that is why Cadwell can use portals. But why are you being attuned? The temple, the Lattice, they recognized Anequina's blood and sang to me. It all makes sense now. Anequina moved the moon so Kunzari could reach Jode's core. The betrayer wants to do the same for the dragons. How can the betrayer move the moons? You must listen more closely, Five Claw. The betrayer is attuned. When he reaches the Temple Sanctuary, he will activate the Moon Gate apparatus and put the moons in motion. I need to finish my attunement before that happens. Okay, we go. May your odds lead you to warm sands. Okay. Well... Oops, 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 sorry, sorry. Sorry my queen, just trying to take his essence. Nothing to see here. Two more. Hit away, and I need to move the moons to reach it. If a few cats must die along the way, what of it? You're... you're insane. You talk to your new god like that. Manners! 
Okay. The temple. It shows us how the betrayer became attuned. Still does not explain why they are attacking us, but okay. Another temple relic. Activate it for me, Five Claw. Well, wanted to talk to Camiria, but. I understand. Moving the moons causes an eclipse. That opens the way to Jode's core. The betrayer attuned himself and hoped to align the moons as Anekuna did. But the moon priests and the remaining champions stopped him. Oh, now I see how he planned to do it. It is so simple. Hurry, we have one more relic to activate. How do you know all of this, Kamira? The attunement process. Through it, I can hear the moon sing. And I hear another voice. It feels like a part of me. I hear an equina who cries for the innocent blood the betrayer spilled so long ago. We cannot let him open the way. Why did the betrayer turn on Kunzari and the champions? The betrayer was always more interested in glory and power than being a true hero. The prize waiting in Jod's core was too much to ignore. He murdered Kunzari and attuned himself so he could move the moons and walk the secret paths. We go. Oh, sorry. Did not mean to. Sometimes just uh, forget which universe we are in. Okay. It's almost a shame how Inequina's faithful keep throwing themselves at my blade. Oh my. Oh boy, more of them. Okay. And more. Feel better? Okay. Here we go. Some behind us, we should probably dispatch. Okay, what is this? Chronicles of Juhari, Chapter 3. Assurance is made to children of the beyond, whom the riddle tar knows to be coiled in the flesh, that in the presence of the holy and triumphant soul will the path to dreaming be known. Chapter 3. Juhari of White Sand smelled his death on the desert wind and told the eldest of his acolytes, the once youth who sought to learn the dance of shadows, that his time had come. The eldest who by the dutiful teachings of his master and the savagery of time had grown wretched and wise, went to the banks of the Dakarn River to fashion a litter of reeds. The eldest bore the sage of White Sand up the steps of the Dancing Moon Temple, and as he did so, the brothers and sisters of our order followed. They borned moonlight in their censers. Fume and chanting wreathed the stone and sand and bodies, and when the eldest had borne him to the mountain top, to the vault where Anequina sharp tongue had danced the last dance of shadows, the chanting stopped. The smoke of moonlight poured from our censers, and the room was shrouded in silent gloom. Juhari, who was made lame through his long years of devotion, stood and tottered before the eldest son on unsteady pause. He asked if the eldest recalled what brought him to the Dancing Shadow Temple all those years before, and the eldest nodded. 
for he had studied the sutras and knew that years were as brief as a single flap of a Fletcher Fry's wings in winter. And returning the eldest nod with his on, Juhari stood perfectly still. In the soul of the sage white sand, the eldest saw movement chaotic and beautiful. It echoed through the lattice, swelling with reverberation of fumes of moonlight and the great and small vertices. As the fuming moonlight burned his lungs, the eldest saw the dance of shadows was no demand nor supplication. It was an existence nearly close to perfection. The lattice mirrored and perfected the form, and the doing was so changed that we cannot even read the entire thing before we are attacked again. Perfected form and doing so was so changed for time, and as it started, so did the dance of the shadows end. Juhari collapsed, his soul gone to the sand behind the stars. The eldest heeded the lesson well. Well, there is that. Wonder if we have missed others. But here we have our the relic. Final temple relic. There it is. Activate. We need to reach the temple sanctuary. Okay. We will go ahead of procession. We go. Wait, my friend. Let us talk before we confront the betrayer. The ancient memories become clearer in my mind with every passing moment. We follow the same path as the heroes of legend. Kunzari, Anequina, the Betrayer, they all walked these steps to reach Jode's core. Tell me everything the attuned memories have shown you. I see the truth of the myths and legends. Kunzari tricked Calcrontid into storing the might of the dragons in Jode's core. Then, the heroes of the Krajun lured them into the halls of Colossus and sealed the doors. Right. Then the betrayer stabbed Kunzari in the back. Yes. He murdered Kunzari and then came to this temple to gain the power to move the moons and open the way to Jode's core. You see... The path only appears at the moon gate of Anequina when the moons are aligned, as in an eclipse. And the moon priest stopped the betrayer back then? True. But many died before they lopped off his head. The betrayer was the greatest warrior of his day. If it comes to a battle, it will not be an easy one. There is an apparatus in the sanctuary, linked to the larger moon gate. That is what we seek. Okay. You take the apparatus and this one will take care of the betrayer. We are about to enter the place where the betrayer faced his greatest failure. Where he died at the hands of the remaining heroes and moon priests. We must make sure history repeats itself. Do you have any advice on fighting this betrayer? The shade of an equina darkens with rage whenever I think about him. Even before his betrayal, she detested the man. He was vain, proud, a great sword fighter, but full of ego and hubris. Perhaps that is his weakness, his pride. Okay, we go. Kill the betrayer. Just that. Okay. Well, we give it a whirl. Too late. Everyone says that. I'm going to share the power of the dragon. Magnanimous. Do my portals confuse you? 
Not really. No, but thank you for asking. It's very kind of you. No, but the stuff that sticks to the floor is a little bit annoying. Can you? Your mother must be very proud. Okay, buddy. Where you go, little man? Well, you may not want to look back here for a moment. There we go. Everything is fine. Nothing to see here. The betrayer did something to the apparatus. The moons cannot hear my plea. Y you can't stop the eclipse? No. The betrayer has set the moons in motion, and they will not answer to my song. There is nothing to stop the dragons from using the moon gate of Anequina to reach Jode's core. So elsewhere is doomed? Not yet. This apparatus moves the moons, but the moon gate of Anequina creates the portal to Jode's core. Luckily, I sent forces there to defend it from the dragons. We will join them. But first, the memories tell me we have one more task here. What do we need to do? Anequina's memories show me how she once used a dragon horn. The combat dragon horn you gave me. It needs to be energized. Have its power restored. Activate the nearby temple relic, and I will charge the dragon horn. It will be done. Oh, other side. Sorry. Cadwell, John, and Jones. All of it into the dragon horn. Coldheart is refreshing plaza, and I'm fit as a fig tree. Now, where's the evil me? Cadwell? Where is the fiend? Let me at him. I returned as soon as I could to help you give the betrayer a good threat. The betrayer has been destroyed, but what about you? I feel tip top, I must say. I thought it was the cozy confines of my beloved Cold Harbor, but I suppose it has more to do with the destruction of my other half. Well, good show. The world is safe. Not exactly. The betrayer set the moons in motion. When they align, the dragons can reach the core. That doesn't sound good. Let me think. Hmm. If I concentrate, I can recall what was going through my despicable other self's mind. He wanted to make sure no one could stop the path from opening. He promised the dragons. There must be a way to stop the eclipse. I'm afraid not, at least not from here. He did something to the apparatus. It can't be used again. Kamira might be able to separate the moons, but she'd need to do it at the moon gate. She looks a little peaked though, doesn't she? We need to get her back to Rimen. I am all right. Cadwell, can we use your portal to return to Rimen? Of course, Kamira. It's ready. Okay. Kamira, you you go. Don't want to leave without you. But not sure you will leave if this one stays. Giving you a couple seconds to make up mind. No, okay, we go. Okay, now only have to... Where is Kamira to talk to? Oh. The eclipse approaches, and with it the opening of the moon gate of Anequina. We have a short amount of time before the way to Jode's core appears. At least I am attuned, and I was able to charge the Dragonhorn. What do we do now, my queen? Gareshri has already gone to the moon gate of Anequina to take charge of the forces there. We will join him shortly. Thank you for helping with my attunement, Five Claw. With you and my ancestors beside me, we will find a way to stop the dragons. We stop the betrayer, but not before he set the moons in motion. 
Soon they will arrive. When the eclipse occurs, the moon gate of Anequina will open and grant access to Jode's core, which is exactly what the dragons desire. How much time do we have? Some, but not a lot. Luckily, we anticipated the connection to the moon gate and sent Garish Ri ahead with whatever forces we could spare, which was not as much as I would like. I just wish we had something else to fall back on. What about the Dragonhorn? The combat Dragonhorn is charged, but we still do not know its full capabilities. We must not waste its energy, so we will save it until absolutely necessary. We should make our way to the Moon Gate now. Tell our companions, it is time. This one will gather our allies. Our companions left the palace to wander Rimen and consider what is to come. Find Abner Tarn, Zamarak, and Prefect Kalo. Cadwell, too, if he is still around. I would like them to join us at the Moon Gate, but we'll understand if they decide not to. Where is the Moon Gate of Anequina? The ancient structure rises out of the jungle far to the southwest. To think, a place known primarily as a pilgrimage stop and historical curiosity may turn out to be the site of elsewhere's most crucial battle yet. Tell this one more about the Moon Gate. The Moon Gates are among the oldest ruins in elsewhere. Of the few sites we know of, the Anequina ruin is the most well preserved. Moon priests consider it sacred. The riddle Thar ties it to the lattice. The rest of us, we see a pile of old rocks. So, what actually happened to you at the Shadow Dance Temple? I can only tell you what I experienced. I became one with the temple, with all its memories and past experiences. I connected with my bloodline, with the first Anequina herself. I was... attuned. What does this mean, attuned? I underwent the process of attunement, the same as Anequina and the moon priests of the temple, the same as Cadwell. I know how to make the moons move, provided we find a working lunar lattice apparatus. Can you open portals like Cadwell now, too? Some of the stories about Anequina speak of her teleporting from place to place, I see something about portals, but it does not make much sense. Perhaps when I have had a thousand years to practice, I will be as competent as Cadwell, yes? Okay. This one will go. Thank you, my queen. Okay, so... We have... Moment... Will find quiet place maybe maybe not hard to say what is quiet here for the moment this one would like to say thank you so much for joining on this uh, journey hope you found it entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative this one would like to invite you to subscribe to checkers the human and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire most of all to ask you to please please take care <laughs>